Hi guys, it's Melody. Um, I want to share with you my altered Dollar Tree spoons. Um, not quite finished yet because hindsight is 2020. I want to see if my husband can put um, a hole in them, drill a hole in them so I can hang them. If he can't, I will add um, some magnet magnetic strips to the back and try and use them as magnets. And once we figure out whether or not we can put a hole in it or not, I'll add some more lace and trim up here. But I thought I would share it with you as is. Uh, you get a two pack of big spoons from the Dollar Tree. And um, I took a little image and um, put it on the uh, scan. Uh, I didn't scan it, I copied it. And then I. Um, scaled it down to thumbnail size and the flowers are all prima that I used on here and um, I glossy accented my image just for some added interest and I um, before I did anything I alcohol inked the spoon front and back with um, whatever color alcohol inks I choose I let that dry for a couple of hours then I um, sprayed it with the sealer not sure if you're supposed to or not but I figured it couldn't hurt um, there's some lace going on back here and just layered my flowers and my bling I glossy accented my image you know um, kind of to make her pop more and it's just a really fun cute project look at this one look at that baby is that not one of the most adorable babies ever. Wonder who she grew up and turned out to be. The flowers are prima. There's some um, Michael maple leaves. The butterfly is an image I um, found online from one of those freebie digital sites. I uh, inked my little girl image with um, burnt sienna chalk ink by Colorbox. Added some pearls. And again, I had um, previously alcohol inked the spoon in um, various colors. There's the back of it. And so that's what it looks like. Is that not cute or what? I love it. And that is that one. I may add some... Um, glimmer mist to them to kind of make them shine more and then this is a tag I've been working on off and on um, I dry embossed the uh, background ran it through my big shot this is an image I um, got from Angela Kennedy over at uh, Creative Souls and I um, printed her out on the printer and I inked her and misted her and sprayed her. There's um, gelatos on here. There's uh, even just a little bit of watercolor paint. And then um, I took some uh, ink and I put it like on a toothbrush and kind of flicked it all over. So she's like a really distressed... Um, garden statue lady and I really like how she turned out um, and because it was a inkjet printer image you never really know what you're gonna get when you put um, things on your inkjet printed images so it kind of ran and faded and made some little marks and stuff but it turned out really cool and then I went over it with um, stickles so I just love this I probably will I think I'm gonna try and find like some kind of quote that fits this uh, lady so that's my little project share for today thanks for watching leave a comment if you wish have a great day bye bye